Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So guys, today we're going to be chatting about my current fall-ish wish list. So these are items that I am either like got my eye on heavy or they're like i'm you know looking for them in case they go on sale because some of these items i know will sometimes hit, hit like a little sale moment so these are kind of like items that i'm watching out for i have them at the top of my wish list especially for this fall coming into winter time of the year let's just go ahead and start with handbags the first bag or like item that i have on the list is this cult gaia clutch now immediately when i seen this it was on instagram like an ad and first of all instagram and these ads way too much because it's too tailored and it's it, they always get me like they always get me and so this popped up on an ad and i was like i think i need this like this is something that works for me and in my closet like i can find a lot of things to wear with this um so it is this like mirrored metallic style bag now when i checked um it was on pre-order and it was supposed to be available like um within like a few days and it was still showing pre-order i don't know as the moment i'm filming this video if it's available but i really have my eye on that bag i feel like this is the perfect like conversation item to throw with an outfit and it immediately like adds like Mm, like adds something extra to it um it from the looks of it it does seems like it's spacious enough to hold things unlike my judith lieber bag which i absolutely love and i feel like judith lieber is here when it comes to like evening bags and like conversation pieces and novelty pieces that bag is really it, it is for the vibes <laughs> But this called Gaia bag, it reminds me of that same type of novelty piece, which I love. Except it looks a little bit more functional. Now, even in my Judith Lieber bag, I can still fit my phone without the case and like cards and stuff like that. This is not a comparison, so we won't get into that. But this, the point I'm making is that the called Gaia bag actually looks functional as well as like aesthetically pleasing. Now, sticking with handbags, I have a white mini bag on my wish list and I have several so I give you like three of my top ones but I have been on the hunt for all things white and I don't know what that is about <laughs> but lately I have been purchasing a lot of white accessories or a lot of white things so that has been like my moment right now and I am missing like a mini white bag of course I have my white jumbo uh, Chanel jumbo that I actually like it's probably one of my favorite bags in my collection I love that bag so much and I often want to wear it um for like a night out or like dinner or something like that but i don't want to carry it necessarily because number one of the size and number two well number one of the color <laughs> number two the size and the color it's like i don't really want to carry something that big at night so i'm like i need a white mini bag i had my eye on a, a chanel mini belt bag very similar to the one that i have in the black caviar except i want that bag in white um obviously these type of mini bags for chanel are like you get it you get it you don't you just kind of have to stock sites looking for it <laughs> unless you can find it in the boutique but i have this image in my mind of this bag that b mini belt bag just in white and that's really what i have had my eye on now if i can't for whatever reason find that one like right away or it takes me forever the next one that i had on my list was the celine mini uh triumph belt bag another like hard to get item <laughs> the only place that i actually saw this bag available was way out of the country like uh, I think Shanghai, Paris, it was some, it was places way across the world, right? I'm like, why isn't it available here? Why isn't it not even available online? So this one, I don't know if it'll be coming soon or if it's sold out and it's gone because the black version of this bag is available and the Celine like monogram version 
of this bag is available as well so i'm like and i also seen like a yellow color it's like a mustard type of color that one i saw available as well now i of course want the white one so i'm like okay if we're seeing these versions be available is it possible that the white is coming and it isn't gone so i don't know we're coming into the winter uh you know like cooler months so white typically isn't a color that we're gonna see but who knows there's no rules to fashion these days and i love it i'm here for it so i'm hoping that it's actually coming available because i actually do like this as well now this i don't really know if i would compare it to the chanel because to me they give different vibes because the celine one has like an actual belt like a a, a leather belt uh, as a strap whereas the Chanel one is more of a chain or the one that I'm interested in is more of a chain so they're a little bit different um in terms of how much and how well I would be able to use them but I don't know I just like them both so that will suffice the other white bag I have in mind is the mini vanity cases from Chanel now these are super popular right now and I am just like in a mini bag or like mid mid-size bag time of my life for whatever reason so i have had my eye on this bag too in white i feel like it would be perfect especially now um with i feel like my lifestyle right now with the baby and the things that i do now i prefer something a little bit more smaller and convenient for the most part of course there are times when i need a bigger bag but right now i feel like i get more use out of my smaller bags i don't know that's just where i am so maybe that's also why my mind has been shifted towards the smaller bags but yeah something of the sort in white that's where my that's where my mind is these days that's where my heart is these days i even consider another bag uh the fendi fendography bag that i had totally told y'all that i absolutely hated i even looked at that bag but i was like it's still like i like it and i've been wanting a mini bag but i don't know if i'm there yet so anyway that's a whole nother conversation for another day let's stick to the topic at hand moving on so moving on to shoes now i am a shoe girl so i have really really been in my shoe like i've been having like shoe fits <laughs> like i've been wanting a lot of shoes uh, i love handbags but i feel like when it comes to if i had to choose like absolutely choose between the two i'm gonna choose shoes i don't know why that's just my thing so i tried to narrow this down based on things that i'm like i i i really 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 want this i'm trying to fight the urge to get these things number one i have on the list is the Prada Napa Leather Sabbath like slide. I know this one may be a little bit mm, really, I don't know, but I feel like this is the perfect like everyday shoe. This would be the perfect everyday shoe, especially in that neutral color. For me, I feel like I have so many things in my wardrobe that could go with this shoe. It's the perfect like throw it on with some jeans. I could even wear it with sweats. If I wanted to wear this to like a movie night or something like that where I have on a little bit more of a dressier, not super dressy, of course, I wouldn't wear this shoe to dinner, but something like that, this would be perfect for. Um, I just feel like I would get so many, so much use from this shoe. It's also, in my opinion, a shoe that can be worn year round because it is a slide. Now, I know that's kind of like, mm, it depends, but for me, I feel like, I could wear this shoe year round. I could easily throw this slide on in the summer and be okay. You know what I mean? So moving on, we have a pair of Louis Vuitton boots. Now, when I seen this shoe, I was like, love at first sight. I love a classic, simple item, but like a touch of something. And this gives me all of that. I love how the tab at the top of the boot has the monogram on it. You see the cute little Louis Vuitton on the back of the heel. Nice, sleek boot perfection. My only concern, my biggest concern with this shoe is how well, or if at all, it will fit my calves. Because I feel like that's the trend when it comes to these type of boots. They're beautiful. I love the way they look, but when it goes to, when it comes to me 
trying them on or trying to wear them, they never work because they never fit my cap. And they don't make it in a material that is either has some stretch to it or give or that it just works. That's my only concern here is if it will actually fit. Now, of course, I haven't been into the store to try it on, but um, this one, I was like, love at first sight. The only time that I have seen a boot like this actually work at the first go was a Saint Laurent uh, Nikki boot, I think is the name of it. A dream. Like, I love the fact that it is a full leather boot and it's a knee-high boot and it fits my calves. Like with room like it is the perfect like design so i'm always hopeful that when i see leather boots like these especially in the luxury space that they fit like this so i'm hoping that the louis vuitton ones kind of work the same way but i don't have no i don't have my hopes up so i won't be let down the next pair of shoes i have on the list are the ysl jiffy faux fur slides now this one i've actually had on my wish list for a good two three years like it's been a while but i just cannot get off this shoe like no every time fall comes around i'm like i need this shoe i really like this shoe and then i end up not getting it and the thing about it is i've seen it go on sale and it's never in my size and it just makes me mad because i feel like if i've seen it go on sale i'm reluctant to pay full price because why would i pay full price and i've seen it go on sale so that's kind of like my thing with with this pair of shoes but honestly i feel like the fact that i've been wanting them for so long would be worth the price even if i had to just go the full price route like just go ahead get it be out of the way with it like i just feel like this is the perfect fall winter shoe and it's definitely my vibe next one is the ysl of uh, frida heels now this shoe when i seen i was like gorgeous very sleek very like sultry my only thing is i wonder if that heel is too high and if it's going to be given stilts because i ain't got time for that <laughs> and i know with ysl sometimes the heels like the sandals or the pumps will look beautiful but when it comes to wearing them when it comes to trying them on they're super uncomfortable for instance the opium heels beautiful shoe beautiful design but the most uncomfortable shoe i have ever ever in my life worn <laughs> so when i saw this shoe i was like i love it but will how will it fit on how will it you know how will it be wearing the shoe because it is like a stiletto like a thin heel and it appears to be kind of tall so i don't know this will be one that i will have to try on to see you know what does it feel like on in this red color i think it's just super like mm. and i've seen like a few places like that red may be one of those colors that we see this season so i don't know uh but i definitely like this shoe and i that red color just made it pop even more so shifting gears a little bit i have a few clothing items that i have been eyeing the first one being this isabel morant top now i love a nice tweet moment i don't know that's just my vibe i feel like it's super classic so girly and it's just like my style and when i seen this top i was like instant mm, love i love this i can wear it with so many different things like it is one of those tops that for me i can wear dressed up with a cute skirt or a nice tweed paired with a skirt paired with it or I would put it on with some jeans. That's totally my vibe. Wearing this with some jeans and like some boots or heels or something like that. I can just see the, I can see it all in my mind. And I love that. It's, and it comes in black and white. Of course, the white is what I'm drawn to the most. <laughs> I don't know. It's something about this white color. It's a trend with me right now. But yeah, I love the white color. And I feel like it would easily, easily, easily work with so many different things that I already have. So that is always a plus. The next item is this Saint Laurent oversized velvet coat. Now, I feel like I've talked about this coat before or maybe I haven't. But this coat is literally a dream. Like... I feel as though it's the perfect forever <laughs> piece. It is something that you can have in your wardrobe for years and years to come. And it'll always like pop whenever you pull it out. It'll give you that mm, like, okay, it's not too overbearing. Even though you have that YSL logo in the back, in the back with crystals on it, it still seems like calm down. 
if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just something about this code that gives me a balance of like extraness, but a little bit, you know, not trying to do too much. And especially if you've paired it with something that's a little bit more calmed down, you got the crystal and the Saint Laurent logo in the bag to add that wow factor. So this is definitely I have on my wish list, something that I would have on my wish list for a while or until I get it, no matter when that is, if that makes sense. Like this is a classic piece to me. And you know how we feel about the classes. I am a classic girl and I feel like I love items that can transcend time even if at the moment they're super hot and i feel like this is one of those items so shifting gears a little bit we're going to talk about a few accessories the first one being a pair of dior earrings specifically i believe these are called the revolution earrings i seen these i think um either on instagram i don't know someone i seen had these on and i was like i would seen them in the boutique like a few months ago and i was like mm, okay they're kind of cute but then when i seen them again i was like wait i remember those those look super cute on and immediately i was like yeah i, I i'm so need no convincing <laughs> I just love Dior accessories. I feel like they're one of the brands that just does accessories right and they stay true to their brand and I just love it. I love how these are small but then they have the little hanging dainty pieces. Like it's just a, a nice, you know, little added feature to them and they're not overly like boom in your face. They're not like obnoxious and that's my vibe. So these, of course, I'm like, I might need those sooner rather than later now the last item that i have on the list <laughs> i saved the best for last <laughs> this is an item that we have talked about on this channel and i may have mentioned in in the sense of i would never but here we are so let's just go ahead and talk about it the saint laurent blaze sunglasses i know i know so hear me out here's the thing so i like the sunglasses i just didn't in my mind, it wasn't the price and the sunglasses together was not registering for me. I don't know. But I honestly have not been able to like stop thinking about them since. So I'm like, um, okay, I'll just wait it out. Like if I never get them, then I never get them because I'm not like I don't have this itch for them. But then I seen them on a promotion. And I was like, okay, so it is one of those items that we might see reduced here and there. <laughs> and I was like, okay, at this rate, I can, I can do this price. I can do this. This is like, it's still a little bit like, mm, but okay, I have similar things that are around the same price range. Like I can see this better than the original ones. So that kind of like piqued my interest a little bit more. And the fact that I have been, see I feel like I've been seeing them everywhere. Like every uh, person that I scroll on Instagram, I'm seeing them and I just like, or TikTok and I'm like, <sighs> are they haunting me? <laughs> what is it about these sunglasses? So I have gone ahead and just come to the realization that I actually do really like them and I just don't see myself paying full price for them. But if I happen to see them again on a promotion, I might snatch them up. So that's why that's why we're going to chat about it here today. So if you happen to see <laughs> these sunglasses in an unboxing or if I just casually wear them, don't worry about it. Just just keep it moving and we're going to talk about it because we've seen a change. We, we were allowed to make decisions and have a change of heart sometimes. So this was just one of those items. So that is going to be it for this wish list, guys. Um, of course, I have a running wish list as always. These are kind of things that I feel like were more appropriate for the season that we're about to see um, and the uh, you know time of the year that we're in. So... Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's keep it cute, guys. We're allowed to change our mind. <laughs> Let me know what's on your wish list or if some of these things that you might have or want to chat about in the comments. Let's talk about that. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again. Like the video and I'll see you in the next one.